Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's Boof. I'm on La Boof Avenue. My wife has told you that we have been decorating the house like crazy. And this is the first year we've decorated the house with this. Yeah, with that. So it's definitely been fun. However, if I'm being completely honest, that one has been nothing compared to So today what I wanted to do was I was going to go ahead and show you probably my favorite part of the Christmas decorating, which there's so much to choose from, but I always have a favorite every year. This year, it is my Christmas village. So I spent all the time last night arranging everything, setting everything up so that I could film this tonight and show you what the village looks like. And in true Labou fashion, something happened. And I actually came home and I was gonna fix it again. And I'm like, I'm just gonna, it, I'm gonna fix it. And then I thought, you know what? This is real life. So instead of fixing it, I'm gonna show you what happens to a Christmas village in Florida. We have what's called a Category 4 Petunia Ann. And a Category 4 Petunia Ann who runs through a Floridian Christmas village makes a mess. Please note that this Petunia Ann knocked houses off their foundations. Thankfully, the uh, guy in the sled was just pushed off the side of the road. So it's not so bad, right? They, they will survive, okay? Now, also spared the majority of the fiasco were the kids playing with the snowball. Thankfully, they are still upright in one piece. The same cannot be said for, excuse me, Gypsy, the uh, dog in the doghouse that uh, fell off the back of the earth. Now, all you flat earthers out there, that does not mean the earth is flat, it just means that my village is flat. Additionally, with this <sighs> category four petunia, uh, this section of house and town was completely blown over. The trees, you can see, have been uprooted. The uh, dog peeing on the fire hydrant, gone. The guy waving with his umbrella, there'll be services later for him. Additionally, the kids that were building a snowman next to the ice skating rink, they didn't make it. Nor did the guy pushing the wheelbarrow down the road. Not much can be said for the farm located in the village. The fences were overblown. My lone oxen has uh, taken to smelling the chicken feet. It's uh, the cowboy got drunk and fell over. <sighs> Generally speaking, did millions of dollars in damage. Now, we weren't able to get federal funding to rebuild uh, today, so we're taking up donations. Uh, there's a GoFundMe for Booth's Christmas Village out there. Uh, they're hoping to rebuild. But, as much as I thought I would be upset about the fact that that happened, I actually love it. When I come home and the cats are in the tree, sorry, or the dog is running around with a Christmas tree ornament in its mouth, not that the dog took it off the tree, but the cat did. So she's gonna, she's gonna run with that. Um, I don't know. I like it. It's been fun to watch them explore the Christmas decorations. Almost like children. Hmm. I do believe I have located the culprit. And I don't believe she's cowering in fear or shame.
There is nothing cowering about that tunia. Did you attack a Christmas village? Did you attack a Christmas village? You did, didn't you? You ferocious beast. <laughs> so guys, hop down into the description or in the comments below and tell me what your favorite parts of your Christmas decorations are. Are there things that you just can't live without? Things that will always go up, something that's sentimental, maybe a family heirloom. Uh, and let me know. We in the Booth household love Christmas. I did say that right. The Booth household loves Christmas. The Leapy household could probably live without it. The Booth cannot. Um, we love it. We try to build something new every year. Uh, this year, it's Leanne's theme in the dining room, which hopefully she'll show you soon. Uh, and I'm going to see about writing some of the wrongs in the village and maybe relaxing for the evening, but I wanted to stop in and say hello, we miss you, we love you, and we hope you have a wonderful, wonderful couple weeks before Christmas. From our house cheers, love you guys very much. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye. The poor, poor village. Look at it. Just look at him. That guy right there, all he wanted was to wave at the guy with the horse. Hmm. Maybe he can be resuscitated. Look. It's a Christmas miracle. He's alive! And his little dog, too.